Alright, uh, welcome back. This video is going to be concluding my saga of overclocking, teaching you guys how to overclock. Um, basically, this time I'm talking about um, stability. So, you've gone through the, all the motions of... The, the, this. I'll be talking about... This goes for Black Edition and Regular Edition processors, right? Um, because you're upping the speed of your system, basically, it's not meant to go that fast. Like, let's say you have a car with like 200 horsepower and you're running it at 300 horsepower, like, it's not built to go that fast. It's the same concept. So you're going to want to test it, right? Run it at full speed. Like, doing nothing, like, it's not going to be missing clocks, right? But you're going to want to just run that thing at full speed. So you can use a Prime 95 or, um... OCCT, those are basically two great overclocking programs. Um, yeah, so uh, right now I have it running. Uh, can you see? No, not really at all. It's at 2.94 gigahertz. Um, I'm just using stock voltages and stuff, but this is basically overclocked. So take something like Prime 95 and run it for basically six hours. It just runs your system flat out, full speed. And that basically, it's this, realistically, when you're just using your computer, you won't be running through that much, uh, freaking, you won't be using this much CPU, but it's just saying, so, under any circumstances, your system will not crash. And, uh, yeah, once you've done something I'd say run OCCT or Prime 95 for about six hours that'll tell you a hundred percent if your uh, system is stable and then more or less like you're done like there's nothing really else you have to worry about you've got good cooling monitor your temperatures actually when you're uh, I can't see that at all like this camera's a piece of shit um, when you're overclocking and you're stress testing, you're putting more voltage in your chip, like I said before. It's like when you're uh, checking for stability, you get a crash, right? You're going to have to up your voltage because that will stabilize it out. Because, um, right, you're going to want to put more power in the chip because you're asking more from it. And when you're putting more power in the chip, you'll be increasing temperatures. And when that happens, you'll be... Uh, risking that you'll be damaging your chip if you don't have proper cooling. So check your cooling, run some tests, and then that's more or less it. Just uh, take note of any types of crashes you get, and um, if you have any questions or something, just uh, hit me up with a personal message or a comment or something, and um, I'll see what I can do for you, but that's more or less how it goes.